Boxingvoice.com here with Jamal James from his gym in Minneapolis, a circle of discipline. Uh, Jamal, you got a fight next Friday in Orlando. That's right. Tell us up to this point, how has camp been going? Camp's been going excellent, man. Uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of preparation put into this fight. It'll be my first one on a major network, so I'm really excited. Can't wait to get in there. How does that feel? You've been fighting mostly regional cards. You've done a little bit of traveling, um, but this is a big fight on a big stage. Uh, PBC card Friday night prime time. Uh, it's a big step up. How 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 does that feel? Uh, it feels exciting, man. It feels exciting. You know, a little bit of nervousness there, but you know, I've been working, you know, so hard for so long that I'm ready for it, and I can't wait to get in there and uh, perform on a bigger stage and let everybody see, you know, the skills. You're fighting Juan Carlos Abreu, tough dude. He's been in there with a, a couple of big names. Um, but he's also hasn't been able to to go past that pinnacle. Yeah. Um, what does this opportunity present for you? Uh, being this being your first big opportunity. Yeah, well, he's uh, definitely you know he's a, a formidable opponent. Like you said, he's been in there with some good guys, but just fell a little short. Um, so I feel like you know if I can get in there and do real well with him, you know, then it just proves that I'm you know one of those better guys that he can't get past, which I feel I am. So. You know, but I can't wait to get in there with him. Can't wait to show out. A lot of the lists have you in the top 25, top 30. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you see yourself realistically? I'm going to the top, you know. If, you, if, you, if your dreams don't scare you, then they ain't big enough. So I'm trying to get to the top. You know, number one, world championship, couple of them. I want to take it as far as I can, bring it all back right down here to Minnesota to circle the discipline. You're six feet plus. You're fighting at 147. Um, big guy for your division as far as uh, your height is concerned. Uh, how do you use that to your advantage in the ring? Yeah, well, I got the height, usually the range on guys, so that's exactly how I try to use it. You know, if I don't, I don't want to be inside and slugging with him if I don't have to, so I try to be more of a boxer puncher, but I uh, always pride myself on being able to adjust and adapt to a lot of guys' styles, so if I do have to sit inside the pocket a little bit, and then I'm trained to know how to do that. But otherwise, I'm going to try to use my God-given gifts and uh, keep them on, the, on my range and on the outside. How has your life changed since joining Heyman Stable? Oh, man, they've been great. You know, um, they've been giving me the opportunities that was just, you know, hard to get uh, boxing around here. Um, they've been, you know, letting me travel. I've been and fought in Chicago, fought in... Pennsylvania twice. One time was, I was a main event out there and uh, you know they've been really giving me the chance to show out and get better coverage you know in my professional career. Uh, going back to uh, Juan Carlos Abreu, um, you're gonna be fighting in Orlando. Um, guy from the Dominican Republic, big Dominican uh, population and Latin American population in Orlando. Um, what do you expect uh, from the crowd that night and how do you mentally prepare for for a fight in a territory that might not be uh, your hometown, which is what you've been mostly fighting in lately. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I really don't even think about it too much, man, because once that bell goes off, you forget about all that stuff anyway, you know. Once the, once the bell goes off and you see the guy coming at you, you forget where you at, you know, you're just in the ring, and you, and it's time to work, you know. And at the end of the day, it's all business, you know. So I hope a lot of, you know, people come and check us out, whether they cheering for him or they cheering for me, it's still all good, you know. They still, they're still going to enjoy the show. What are some of the things about your uh, your opponent, about Abreu, that you feel you might be able to exploit? I feel like I got the speed on him. I feel like I have a little bit more uh, technical ability on him. So I'm going to go out there and use that ability. Um, you know, fill him out, see what he's about, and then uh, take it from there. Uh, for your fans that are going to be watching this and are going to be watching you next Friday, what do you have to tell them? Uh, you know, stay tuned. You know, I'm going to definitely give you a show. And I appreciate all the support that they give me, you know, ever since I was an amateur all the way through my professional career. Please continue to do so, and I won't let them down. Thanks so much, Jamal. Thank you. Look forward appreciate to seeing you next week. Yes, sir. All right.